Hey, Randy with Canadian Energy. Our topic today is what battery bank do I need? So what are some of the considerations that I need to take into account when choosing my battery bank? So one of them would be input voltage. This is generally going to be defined by what is the input voltage of the inverter. Usually that's going to be 12, 24 or 48 volts. Usually 24 or 48 volts on uh, larger off-grid systems. Higher voltage generally means less amperage input required. Uh, secondly would be amp hour or kilowatt hour capacity of the battery. So obviously the bigger the battery, the more storage capacity it has. So it's going to relate to how big your system is. In a, in a typical off-grid cottage application, we're going to have a 24 or 48 volt battery bank in there that's somewhere in the range of 6 to 800 amp hour. Uh, this is going to be your average system. They can go as high as 6,000 amp hour or more in larger systems, but that would be, you know, a typical average. And so what type of cells do I need? Bigger, uh, 2 volts, uh, what, what size cells? So bigger, bigger equals more capacity in lead acid batteries. So again, how much capacity do I require will determine uh, what size cells you need. And lastly would be the technology. In the lead acid, there's flooded AGM and gel, flooded uh, being a maintainable battery that, that, that has to be looked at regularly, AGM being absorbed glass mat and gel, both maintenance free. They'd be more expensive than the, the flooded lead acid initially to purchase, but no maintenance required. So definitely a consideration. Um, lithium is on the market now, uh, coming available, more expensive to purchase, uh, more cycles, more capacity delivered over the life of the battery. So again, each has pros and cons depending on, on your application and your budget. So any more questions on, on these topics, you know, where to find the products, uh, more information about the products, visit us at our website at cdnrg.com. Thank you.